Hello, hello, this is Dan Ariely, and I want to talk today about the expression freedom fighters. Uh, so recently, I've heard the expression uh, freedom fighters said uh, more and more often in relationship with the, with the Hamas. And um, of course, we can ask the question of uh, what happened before October 7th, on October 7th, since October 7th, and think about the Hamas in that, in that context. But freedom fighters are clearly, I mean, anybody who's a freedom fighter should be a, a friend of, of humanity. Uh, but for an organization to get the title of freedom fighters, we need to think about what have they done. So, so think about this. What has Hamas done outside of October 7th, outside of terrorism, outside of the, the specific fighting uh, with Israel? What have they done that would get us, the citizens of the world, to give them the title freedom fighters? What have they done to show that they care about freedom? Um, what have they done to show that they care about the freedom of uh, their own countrymen, the opposition, the uh, PLO. Uh, what have they done to care about the freedom of expression, religion, uh, and, and so on of their own uh, citizens? What have they done to try and promote freedom? Um, anyway, when, when you start thinking about this, uh, you realize that it's not that much. Uh, there's no question that Hamas is a terrorist organization. And if you want to look at all of their activities, you would say that they, every, every one of their activities is consistent with being a terrorist organization. Now, I am deeply hoping, deeply, deeply hoping um, that on the Palestinian side there will be a, a freedom a organization that would try to promote uh, peace in the Middle East. Um, on my side, I have been a strong supporter, believer, demonstrated more or less since age 15 um, for a two-state solution, for the, the rights of the Palestinians. Um, I don't see Hamas as my ally in that, in that conversation. Uh, I think Hamas is um, actually anti the Palestinians. If you ask me, I think in the... 50 years from now, uh, we would judge the Hamas as uh, being a major force uh, in slowing down the progress of the Palestinian people. I think we will judge them as being the main force that created uh, oppression and poverty and, and sickness. I'm not saying that uh, there will not be other um, countries and people that are be at fault at that, including Israel is playing a role. But uh, I think that calling Hamas a freedom fighting organization um, uh, doesn't understand their role in the Middle East. And I hope that soon enough we'll be able to recognize them for what they are, a terrorist organization, not, nothing better than that and that to move forward for the Middle East and the world to move forward, uh, we have to all fight together against terrorist organization and we have to help uh, pro-peace organization, pro-freedom organization to, uh, to emerge. That's my hope. Bye for now.